Hi, Dave Osland here. I'm going to show you how to make a template today for a Y connection on pipe. In other words, here I've drawn, a, I've got a side view. I've got a four inch pipe with a piece of three inch coming in at a 45. Now you can use this to do any angle, which is kind of nice, but the same, same procedures. So to expedite matters, I've kind of got a little ahead of the game. I draw on a side plan just like I laid those pipes out. From there, I'm going to draw an overhead plan, which would be something similar to this, like that. So I have a side and an overhead. And then I use those two drawings to combine all my different design elements to make a template. So. can't see it on this paper, but there is light blue lines on here. It's called fade out paper. You get it, get it at a uh, drafting supply or a blueprint office supply, supply place like that. Now, with my handy dandy drawing compass, make sure that I have the proper diameter. Down here, I will make overhead view of this pipe. Now on this particular one, this is a four inch piece of pipe. The actual, actual diameter is four and a half inches with a three inch pipe coming into it. Now on the three inch, I have to draw it from the inside diameter. In other words, pipe is measured, for, three inch pipe, standard pipe, this is three inches in here. Outside is three and a half. But if I draw this template for that diameter, it won't fit correctly. So I have to go on the inside diameter here. So here's my overhead view. Now I'm going to get my... Now again, I'm drawing in two dimensions, so can't really see the slope. This would be looking down on that pipe. Okay, again, this is three inches, not three and a half, as the actual size of pipe is measured. Now again, I'm going to use my compass here to draw a little bit of half a circle to make this all work. And I will do the same thing up here. I have to bisect this line. Again, I will use this point here. Now I have to divide this half circle up into even portions. I'll do that using some basic geometry techniques known as bisecting lines. Whoops. Bisecting angles with a compass. They're pretty. Start 
start with dividing that. You don't have to have advanced degrees in trigonometry to do any of this stuff I'm doing here. Okay, I've divided those. All right. A little close up of where we are so far. Side view, overhead view. Okay, now we've got to bring some lines down here. So, drawing parallel lines to this, each one of these points. And the same thing down here. So I just bring up to touch there. So I'm going to number all these. I'll go um, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same thing here. My one is going to be my longest, or I have a one and a nine. They're both going to correspond if we're looking straight down through this. So this will be a one and a nine, two and an eight, three and a seven. Four and a six, and of course a five and a five. So one's coming up here will intersect right here. So now I'm going to do a two and an eight. So two and an eight. And I'm bringing up a three and a seven. So I'm going three and seven and uh, four and a six and last I bring up straight up number five so I'm going to name this one two three four five six seven eight and nine. Okay. Over here, I'm going to draw I have to do a little adjustment here. I have to add that because our template sits on the outside of our pipe I need to add a quarter inch to simulate the thickness of that pipe there. Okay, it doesn't even need to go around really, all the way around. What I'm trying to do is get the length of this little arc here, because all in theory all these arcs are the same length. So I'm going to start here. I'll start that as my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's got me around now. I gotta continue back through nine, eight, five, four, whoops. That thing moved a little bit. Five. Three. Two. One. Six. So 
So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see how long this is. Should be around 11 inches. I'm 11 inches on the dot. So that's cool. Okay, quick review here. <clears throat> because when I'm looking at this in a two-dimensional form, I really can't see the end of this. That is why we draw this area to, sig to uh, signify this. And then we divide it into equal portions all the way around and project the lines down. Just as if you were looking at a, a pipe like this and it was divided into equal sections, these lines would look like they're very close together because they're wrapping around the edge of this. Same thing down here. On this, we cannot see the end of this pipe to divide it into equal segments, so we draw it like this right now I projected this line up to here and I've got all these lengths on here now I'm going to take these lengths and put them on each one of these segments so let's mark these segments I'm going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine so I've just gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wrapped around halfway around the pipe. Now I'm going to come around the back side of it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now taking my compass again, I'm going to get these lengths. So my number one length. Can be one of my longer lengths here and I transfer it here and I've got to back up get all my lengths and I can run these wild I've had a lot of requests for these um, demonstrations here but you know just like everybody else I've got a million things going on in, the, in life and business. If you're really interested in learning this and you're in the Central California coast, we offer these classes at Cabrillo College. I do teach this. Some of my students are into it. Some of them are just like lost in space when you present anything like this. They just want to weld and fabricate things. But anyway, a little plug for Cabrillo College. All righty. So here we go. This is a teeny bit shorter there. So now I transfer every place I have a number two length. Whoops. And I forgot my number one. So now we go over in here to number three. and so forth right on down the line number four you can see the advantage of these big of this big compass here number five number eight And the last one is my number nine. Shortest mark there. Okay, again, now we connect all the dots. And there's our template. Now we're going to cut it out. Again, you know, you can once you make this pattern, you can always transfer it to a piece of, of heavier paper.
so you know it'll be around for years when you buy those pre-made ones they're usually from one inch up to three maybe four inch they'll maybe cost you you know anywhere from 30 to 60 dollars i think but uh again limited shapes and angles and whatnot especially for these y connections and with this technique you can do you can do patterns like say if you have a 12 inch pipe with an 8 inch saddle coming into it you can make a template for that you don't have to spend 75 dollars and wait for three days okay let's see what happens okay take a three inch piece of pipe here let's see how we look Came out just about perfect. And there is that shape. Again, you can see how these lines correspond to all these points. And here's my four inch line. And once this is cut, it'll fit right on there. Let's pull this off of here real quick. And so, <clears throat> so here it is. you can see that fits on there it's just about perfect of course the paper is a little distorted once the thing's cut remember once the once you cut this you're going to have to take a little angle grinder kind of clean it up any jagged edges put it on there fit it look at it maybe grind a little bit more and you'll be ready to weld them together thanks for watching